All right, continuing on, now we're gonna do a perpendicular at a point on a line. So if you notice, this is what we're starting with right here. We're starting with this line L and this point P on L, and you're gonna draw a perpendicular going down through P, okay? This is actually going to be very, very similar to a perpendicular bisector construction that you did in section 1-6. So we use the construction from section 1-6 for the parallel lines, and we're gonna use a construction from 1-6 to do the two perpendicular lines, okay? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So it says use a compass instrument to construct a line through point Q that is perpendicular to the line show. Your fine line should be exactly one blue line. So again, you should visualize that this is what your line will look like, right? Something like that, right? That's what we want the final answer. So we know that Q is going to be on that line. So that's one point. So your job is to get a second point on that line. Well, use a compass. Put the center on Q and just open it up some distance along that side. And mark those two spots where this compass crosses that line. And now what we've done is we've marked two points, and now Q is the midpoint of those two points. To get, say, a point here above Q, got to get your compass, put the center on one of those arcs intersecting the line, and extend it more than halfway past Q. Boom. And draw your arc above Q. Now take the center, move it to the other arc, and now draw the arc above Q again. Boom, compass is done. And there's your second point to connect Q with to make the perpendicular. Submit my answer, don't mind if I do. Green check mark, boom, boom. Okay, all right, next one's coming. Okay, and now we're gonna do a perpendicular from a point to a line. So this point is off of the line. So you look here, here's line L, here's R off the line. Again, we want to construct a perpendicular going down through R. It is again going to be like our perpendicular bisector construction. And it's going to be similar to the one we just did, except your R is above the line or off the line. Um, there are two slides for this construction. So it's this one and, uh, and the next one. It was a little bit bigger in the in the textbook so so that's why it says continued from previous slide okay but that's our final picture all right so let's do it together in delta math so here's my picture it says use a compass and straight edge to construct a line through point p that is perpendicular to the line shown your final answer should be exactly one blue line so again visualization right this is what my final answer is going to look like so the question is how do i get a second point to connect with P, that second point is going to come down here after a couple steps. First, we need to construct those two arcs on the line. And the way that we do that is we put the center on P and we extend our circle down past the line, just like so. And we mark those two spots where this circle or compass crosses that line. And now we have to take our compass and we have to Put the center on one of those one of those points and extend it more than halfway. Boom. I think that's more than halfway. And put your arc somewhere here to the right of that line. Move that compass center to the other side. Put that arc on that side of the line so they intersect. And boom, there's my second point. Use my line tool, connect P to that point. And I have just drawn the perpendicular. Submit my answer. Don't mind if I do. Green check marks. And I feel good that I can do these constructions. All right. So hopefully you can too. Um, so have fun doing the constructions.